In this video, I'll be comparing Linear versus Notion and going over what each of these tools does and who they are best for. So they are both powerful tools for productivity and project management, but they do cater to slightly different needs and workflows. So in this video, I'll explain exactly which one I would pick depending on what you are looking for. So first I'll go over their primary focus and use case. Linear is primarily built for software development teams that are building products. Its core strength lies in efficient issue tracking, sprint planning, and managing product roadmaps for engineering workflows. Now, Notion is a highly versatile all-in-one workspace designed for a much broader range of uses. It combines note-taking, document creation, wikis, and database functionalities, making it suitable for knowledge management, diverse project management, and general team collaboration across various departments. Now, Linear offers a more structured and opinionated workflow, particularly suited for agile methodologies. Issues typically move through predefined stages, for example, triage, backlog, in progress, etc., which promotes consistency and reduces decision fatigue for development teams. Notion, on the other hand, provides extreme flexibility and customization, and users can design their own workflows, create custom databases with various properties, and choose from multiple views, such as tables, Kanban boards, calendars, timelines, and galleries. This allows for a highly tailored system, but requires more initial setup and can lead to inconsistencies if not managed well. In terms of speed and performance, Linear is known for its blazing fast performance and keyboard-first navigation. It's optimized for quick creation, management, and resolution of issues. Now, Notion, while generally responsive, its performance can be slower than Linear, especially with complex workspaces, numerous linked databases, and large amounts of content. Now, as I mentioned, Linear offers limited customization compared to Notion, and it focuses on providing essential features that streamline developer workflows, and its strength really lies in its opinionated design, which leads to efficiency. And Notion is really unparalleled in its customization capabilities. Then for documentation and knowledge management, Linear helps manage issues, but it typically integrates with other tools for extensive documentation and knowledge bases. So it can integrate with tools such as Confluence or even Notion itself. Notion excels as a centralized hub for documentation and knowledge management. Its ability to create nested pages, wikis, and link various types of content makes it ideal for storing project specifications, meeting notes, and company policies. Linear focuses on deep integrations with tools that are relevant to software development, such as GitHub, GitLab, Slack, and various deployment services. Notion offers a wide array of integrations, though perhaps less deeply specialized for pure development workflows. It integrates with many common business tools for embedding content, automating tasks, and connecting information. Then the UI. Notion has a visually rich and intuitive UI that supports a wide range of content types. Its drag and drop interface and block-based editing make it easy to organize information visually. Now, Linear is a minimalist, clean, and highly efficient UI designed for speed and productivity, and its keyboard-driven navigation is a core part of the user experience. So now I'll go over their target audiences. Linear is best suited for product and engineering teams, especially those committed to agile development practices and prioritizing streamlined issue resolution. Notion, on the other hand, caters to a much broader audience, including general teams, individuals, marketing, and anyone needing a flexible tool for organization, documentation, and project tracking. Linear does not really inherently focus on AI capabilities within its core product for content generation or summarization, while Notion includes Notion AI, which can assist with writing, summarization, brainstorming, and automating tasks directly within your workspace. In terms of pricing, you can see if you want to pay monthly, they do have a free plan, which is quite good already. But for example, their recommended plan, which is business, is €23.50 per month per member. And here you also have Notion AI included. You get enterprise search and you get integrations with, for example, GitHub, Slack, Google Drive, and more. Now, Linear also has a free plan available, which is free for everyone. So you can have as many team members as you want, but only up to two teams. 
then basic starts at $10 per month, business $16, and enterprise has custom pricing. Now overall linear is cheaper than Notion. So which one should you pick? If your primary need is a lightning fast streamlined tool specifically for software development and agile issue tracking, linear is likely the better choice. But if you require a highly customizable all-in-one workspace for diverse project management, extensive documentation and knowledge sharing across various functions, Notion will serve you better. So many organizations even use both of them, leveraging Linear for their technical development workflows and Notion for broader company information and non-developer projects. So that concludes this comparison of Linear versus Notion. If this comparison helped you make a decision, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.